The gyre tightens, the unpredictability gap closes, the demi-solar hum of the ship's spinal cannon sends tremors up through the deck and into your core, everyone aboard has a job to do, and this one is yours. You cannot miss this shot, if you miss, you and everyone else aboard this ship is dead. Lancer Battle Group, by Kai Tave and Miguel Lopez, and yes, that Kai Tave of Field Guide to Sultan fame, is a standalone rule system for mass space combat in the Lancer setting, where you can have galaxy brain space battle without suffering a migraine the size of Florida, which also has mech scale boarding action, naval scale stand battle, and of course, big damn cannons. Backstory, the year is 5021 Union, Harrison Armory, and Karakan Trade Baronies are fucking around in Dawnline Shore and Union is going to make them find out, but of course, your campaign could be as far away from this core conflict as possible, because in space, there's always someone trying to fuck around and find out with giant spaceships. In battle group, you are a commander of your own battle group for one of the factions, where things get a lot more spicy than fighting on ground, because death, is around you, it's in the cold vacuum shielded from you, every maneuver you conducted with g-force straining your body, and in every shot coming your way with more raw power than an entire planetary civilization would use. Even coming out of a battle relatively unscathed, hundreds will die on a good day, even you can die absurdly easily, which is reflected in the rule by the way, and yes, there's a scale of negative damage in which your ship could be heavily damaged but reparable, to being completely atomized to stardust. Speaking of rules, here's how you build your own battle group, you get 20 points, each ship has a set of point costs, and there are three types of ships, frigates, cheap, useful, and flexible support vessels that can act as meat shield for your bigger ship, carriers, which due to how space combat works, actually work better at closer range by sending out wings of fighters, escorts, or boarders, and battleship, which are ironically usually long-ranged platform that are more like a ship built around a giant gun, sometimes too, if you want to compensate that much. And they all have a lot of variety, for frigates, there's Huron, a frigate with a wall of anti-wing flak screens, Creighton, a frigate that's actually just a gun, and Minokawa, a frigate perfect for any Lancer team because it's made for boarding. Or carriers, there's Amazon, which delivers death anywhere with four goddamn wings, a Pyron, that can send fighters just a bit further by violating the concept of distance a bit, and Tawa, which just loves boarding, again, did I mention boarding is really good in this game yeah and battleships, first there's Thoro, which put gunboat diplomacy to the test, Michelle Nee, that can move as easy as it fires, and Calendula, it has two big fucking guns, however, there's a limit to how many ships of each type you can deploy, so you can't have swarm of frigates, nor you can have a fleets consisted solely of battleships, as much as I would love that very much, and you probably have some questions, I will just answer the most common ones you could think of for now. Can I make a fleet consisting solely of a single battleship with all the points shoved into it? No, this game is called Lancer Battle Group, not Battle Single, also you will die, quickly. Can I make a fleet consisting solely of three frigates? You can, but you might find yourself rolling for new commanders more often than you like. Of course, you can't just solely use these empty hulls, you also have to spend points on weapons, systems, escorts, wings, and there's a huge variety of anything. Do you like big guns? How about big gun that's a bunch of small guns together? How about a big gun that's not a gun but can discombobulate an entire enemy legion network so hard their ship is on fire? Or just use a weapon that does that thing from Star War? Don't like to roll for attack? Use missiles? Use more missiles? Use all the missiles? Or use fighters? which can include drone that doubles as more missiles, actual fighters, bombers, or chassis mount, which is just mech strapped to a rocket filled to the brim with guns, that also includes different flavors like Tortuga, Baylor, Monarch, and Barbo fucking Rosa. Do you want bigger escorts? How about a corvette, a destroyer, or a cruiser, or get a bunch of mine layers so if enemy battle group try to move you, they just get bombed to hell? How about borders to just absolutely rip up the inside of an enemy vessels, from marines, to killbots, to mechs, to just pump an enemy vessel full of nano goop to consume them from the inside wait that just sounds way too fucking horny let me just stop for a second. Systems, from something simple like having different commanders types, simple slot expansion, say a bunch of lines straight out of classic space opera, to start getting fucking naval stand power like echo praxic imago, subjective syzygy, and anti-cognition hyperfractal, what does all these names mean I don't fucking know, but they sound cool and I want to use them. There's also impossible dodge so you can feel like the red comet in a kilometer long spaceship, Aurora stealth shrouding to be very very sneaky, or just you know, 
cover your spaceship in fucking space rock as armor or to introduce blunt force trauma to your enemies like this David looking fucker. You might also notice that some of the upgrades have zero cost, that's so not a single slot get unfilled, and even these zero cost upgrades are very excellent to have around. Heck, you could even just made your own goddamn ace squadron, which could be your lancer character stand in, which you could also customize with various upgrades like just grabbing a goblin to hack a goddamn battleship, get an NHP to do more stuff, get to board and wreck havocs, or pack nuclear weapons. So, now that you have a million ideas on how to build your fleet, how do you actually play? Well, here's the only map you ever need, enemy at the center of the gyre, and each player battle group could move forward and back in the range, and each range has a different bonus and negative, that's it, that's what the entire game mechanic is around, no big fancy map, or insanely complicated mechanic to simulate Newtonian movement or 3D spaces because no real human could ever comprehend that shit, looking at you, Aerotech, the further you are from the center, your big ass charge spool guns that need time to power up get more accurate, payload weapons take longer to reach, and smaller guns have a hard time hitting things, get closer, things get reverse, get within point blank range, and you wish you could miss because even your missile will be exploding in your face. Each player's battle group also has one maneuver and tactic each turn to do stuff with. Maneuver to, well, move, and possibly shoot, and tactics for basically everything else, there's also a phase system for each round, but you don't really need to know much about it for now. You will also notice that a lot of weapons, systems, escorts, and wings have not just a maximum range, but also a minimum range, there are a lot of enemy types that force you to move out of your position, so you and your allies need to prepare for situations outside of their optimum range, or make tactics that discourage enemy from moving you or your allies. However, should the fight last a lot longer than it should be, which happens sometimes, but only if you are getting quite unlucky, the gyre titans. Round 6, extreme range don't exist anymore and players are moved closer, round 7, things get pushed to collapsing range, round 8, point blank, you only objective now is to survive, and you could have just get the fuck out, Starting at round 5, your battle group have charged up their near light bolt drive and you could just, retreat, and you could make this decision at the start of every successive round after this, however, if you do, you need to roll on the near light ejection table, which has a chance of straight up just killing 20% of your crew. So you know, if you don't want that to happen, win. But this really makes you think does it, you could stay and fight but get mauled in the process, or you could retreat saving most of your crew in the process by killing some with your own command. Welcome to space battle in Lancer battle group, there's no chance for a clean fight, someone you know on either side of a battle can perish without a warning, and that's why I love Lancer battle group, it's weird as heck just like how Lancer is, but now put to a whole new level with things on naval scale, and yet at the same time, it's goddamn brutal, I fucking love this. There's also stuff like commendation system, ship legacies, reputations, and more that I haven't really talked about, but whatever, these are basically all the things you need to know on Lancer Battle Group for now. You can get it now on Roll, not Roll20, Roll, it's exclusively on it for now, you get both the PDF to download and both pre-made sheets and templates to play and build your battle group online in the Roll website. That's all for now, stay tuned for more stuff to come with Lancer Battle Group, Commanders, and I will see you all next time. Hello there. If you like this video, please subscribe to my channel and click that notification bell button. If you really want to support my channel, you could visit my Patreon page, or buy me some Kofi, links in the description. Anyway, have a nice day.